but you can actually wear it crisscross in the back like this or you can just unhook it and you can wear it uh, hello everybody welcome back to my channel and today we have a nice little chat about lululemon and a simple haul uh, that i got more recently that i want to share with you one or two key pieces that i think you should get and of course we got another pair of shoes that I've been meaning to show you. So first, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a chat. I wanna show you some wear and tear um, on my bliss field and my wish list for Lululemon. I'll also put a timestamp on the bottom there. So if you wanna just skip to the haul, you can do that as well. But my wish list for Lululemon, I'm looking right now at the Pace Rival Mid-Rise Skirt. And this is available online only. I really wish it was available in stores. So I managed to try it on the longer version of the Pace Rival skirt. I tried to pop in photos I can find them in stores. And I was like, it's nice. And I think I'm right now I'm trending towards a little bit more of a feminine vibe. I don't know if it's because like warmer weather is coming up, summer is coming up. I've shared this in my previous Lululemon vlogs and unboxings before, but I don't actually own many skirts like or shorts from Lululemon I, I usually like to always have pants um, I'm wearing like a full set of Lululemon right now and they are definitely long full-length pants but I do want to try out the skirts I know they are bestsellers so I do want to try out the Pace Rival mid skirt mid-rise skirt and also the Court Rival high-rise skirt I, I managed to try that one on in stores too the Court Rival is definitely more feminine of course everything here they have the shorts liners which I really really like and these are the shorter versions they also have longer ones but I don't know I'm pretty sh like a petite human I'm five foot one so the longer ones just look a little too long for me and I'm trying to go for that feminine look so I, I like it a little bit shorter I also want to get another ebb to street bra and you'll find that here somewhere but it's so good. I'll, I'll show it to you when I do the unboxing, but I, I want to buy another one in a black just to have it as a restock. I also want to get the Fast and Free Running Bell in all black. Normally, I noticed, because I buy a lot of sales stuff from Lulu as well, and usually for all the sales stuff, it's always like the pop of colors, right? It's all the colorful stuff, but like black for example and like white normally never goes on sale just because they're such common colors they'll always sell out or if it's like a key silhouette like the free to wild bra they're not going to go on sale for the black because it's always the same thing it's always like the colorful prints that go on sale so everything here that i'm listing i want it in black because that means i have to put pay full price for all of these so i, I do already have a fast and free running bow but I got like an orange color. It just, I don't have that here, but like I got an orange color and I actually bought a size that was a little bit too big for me because that was a size available that was on sale. But I wanna get like my size in black. Um, and I also noticed they did raise in prices. They used to be $38 for the Fast and Free Running Belt and now they're listed online for 44. So just a little sad note. The other two that I'm thinking about is the Scuba Full Zip Cropped Hoodie. I actually tried on the Solar Orange and the Heathered Core Ultra Light Gray, those two colorways. It's a new silhouette, so I was kind of curious about it. And when I tried it on, I didn't buy it right away because I wasn't sure how I felt about like that bat wing. So this is like the half zip funnel scuba and the full zip cropped hoodie is like tight all over except for this part and I'm not sure if I really like it but it's still put on my wish list right now. Um, they don't have any like black. <laughs> like I, I'm, I think I'm just trying to like curate a little bit more of my wardrobe that's like colors I'll wear all the time which is usually black um, even though I have so many sh colorful pieces. But I... They don't have it in black yet, but I did try on the solar orange and surprisingly it looks really good and maybe it's my skin tone. I have like, I'm Asian so I, it's like a little, my skin tone is like a red or pink based I think, but it like the solar orange just makes my skin look like cleaner. I, 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 like it look, I look brighter with it so I, I really liked it. Um, but the Heathered Core Ultra Grey I thought I would like, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I think if it 
was like if a ki- if Lululemon continues to launch the full zip crop hoodie in the scuba a couple more seasons in different colors I think I'll like consider different colors um, and the last one on my list is the crop define jacket in Nulu I like it too but I I tried it on and like it is cropped but because I'm so small it's still like like a regular length for me so I kind of wish it was like a little bit more cropped but it's still on my wish list all right so that was all for my wish list and let me show you like the wear and tear um just about two pieces I want to show you so I've showed you this pair of bliss fields um that I got during and I didn't clean it so I was a little bit dirty but I actually wore this all throughout Europe I brought this pair of shoes with me for my like adventures to Europe it's really dirty it was not like terribly dirty but um and I wore it for about 30 days straight I didn't I bought like flip-flops but like I didn't bring in like any other shoes this was like I was walking like 10 to 20 to 30 thousand steps every day and honestly no blisters no everything like I'm not a really a big runner so I can't give you that but I was walking around a lot I would just say that the glue like you can see like but also maybe it's like a little dirty but you can see like the glue adhesive kind of come in a little bit but I think this is a really good like wear and tear because I wore this for over 30 days and I've been wearing like every single day heavy like the bottom I scuffed up here but honestly it's pretty good condition um Remember how I first told you that they had little lines here once you would wear it like the the foam part would crease Okay, I mean it creased but it never got any worse which was which was nice like it did it does crease a little bit here in the foam you see that but after wearing it a lot it still looks the same so overall I think they're pretty decent shoes for like 150 bucks like they are really comfortable really soft inside and they were really good for like long long walk so if you're planning to do like an asia trip or europe trip or like a vacation basically i actually recommend this i bought these shoes for europe like i said and also for texas so when i did like a vacation in texas for like a, a couple days a week i like also brought these so the point is they're pretty decent and oh before i get to the unboxing i want to show you one more um, technically this is an unboxing because you haven't seen this before I never showed it here I don't think but I got this like wonder train long sleeve and it was really beautiful and I actually brought this one to Europe I think it's a little harder to see on camera oh no you can definitely see it on the very first day of wearing it I spilt sunscreen on it here and you can see that mark right there like okay I'm too many fingers right here you can see that here and I I mean the whole point is that I never managed to clean it out like I don't know if there's like a surprise technique here but like right away I try to wash it but the sunscreen I think that it's like very oily and it just stained and because of the light color it just just never went I've washed it several times and I I tried to like spot clean it but because this fabric is like Nulu I, I noticed that because Nulu like eventually peels just a little bit some of them aren't that bad but I noticed as I was trying to clean out that spot I was like rubbing the fabric so much it was starting to like have like these micro pills and I just didn't bother so now unfortunately even though this was really cute I got my regular size size 4 in this I only wore it like once I mean I wore it throughout Europe but like always tucked in like my, I would always have my jacket on top or like a sweater on top because this stain never went out I'll show you I'll try to wear it and I'll show you but it's pretty obvious it's like a starker stain so I would wear it now more for like lounging actually I haven't picked this up since but my story of this is maybe that's why I'm leaning towards black a little bit more because I noticed when the the, the beautiful colors once they stain um, I can't wash them out and it's not something you can do like a quality return because it's a wear and tear it's not like a quality issue um, so I just wanted to warn everybody 
that if you are buying like fun, bright colors, be careful of your like makeup and sunscreen. I know people know that already, but this was sad because this was like a hundred dollar shirt, right? And I only wore it like one time. So that was unfortunate. Well, I'm gonna show you everything now. So here is the haul. Here's the haul. There's a couple simple pieces, a lot of basics, even though you can see all those colors here. Um, this shoe, I warned you in my last haul, I would be getting something like this. So this is the strong feel. Comes in a really nice box, just like the same as the Blitz feel. So the packaging is the same thing for the box. Um, and I got these really fun yellow ones. I actually got this a while ago, like half a year, but I still haven't worn them. I've worn them around the house to try out, but um, I've been a bit too busy. So, but I love these. I actually sized down. So the bliss feels that you just saw here, I got these in my regular size. Oh, one more thing about the wear and tear, because I wore these quite a bit. Uh, I bought a regular size six in these, which is my true to size US. And this one I bought a five and a half because you can see the toe box. I'm gonna put one down. The toe box for the strong fields, which are these yellow ones, they're wider at the top. And then you can see for the bliss fields, it goes more narrow. So actually, I personally size down for these. You don't have to, I think you can still take your true to size. I think both would work but it does fit a little bit more comfortable in the strong fields, just because that toe box there is like rounded and the bliss feel is more narrow. And after wearing this quite a bit, like 30-ish days straight, I noticed it's um, a little bit more loose now. I actually had the green ones in a six and a half and I actually ended up giving it to my mom. Um, they're fine, but uh, I noticed they stretch a little bit. So this one, feels like a 6.25 right now like it still fits perfect but it's a little bit looser up top so I can imagine that this one would also feel a little bit looser I wouldn't get a size too small for you but I would get your true to size like I don't think there's any nest it's not necessary to size up is what I'm saying because eventually the foam might give a little bit and you'll need a slightly bigger size so that's my recommendation for strong feel and bliss feels i only own these two shoe styles from lululemon and i don't think i really plan to get anything else i know they had one more version that was like i had a little sock tubular sock but i don't i don't like those styles in general i always like the low cut sneakers so that's just my personal preference um, but I love this colorway. Look how good this looks. I didn't even think about matching clothes, but this looks really good with like this color sweater, hey? Anyways, this is really fun. Oh, it would match like my other jackets. But anyways, this was really cute color. Loved it. And another one I got, with this is actually the best seller in Lululemon right now for like uh, sports bra tops. And this is called the Rib Nulu Asymmetrical Yoga Bra. So this is the Nulu fabric, but it's ribbed. So you can see that there's like little ribs throughout. And I'm gonna get to that Define jacket in Nulu that I was just talking about earlier for the wish list. They also have it in this ribbed material as well and also a smooth Nulu. I don't have a huge preference in either of them, but I love how this looks. <gasps> oh, oh thank God. <laughs> I thought it was like, there was a little like hair that was coming out and I bought this online so I didn't get to check it. But this was on sale, um, this was on sale at on the site. I think they still have some left. Uh, but like the other colors are not on sale so I just bought this color, it's called K9, KN. Um, but it, it's a really cute color, it's like a, like a reddish brown and actually it goes with my skin tone really well. I almost considered buying the Define jacket in cropped in this exact same material and color just to have like a matching set because I do love matching sets however I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful like if you watch some of my hauls you know that I have tons of Lululemon stuff and you know you haven't even seen my full collection yet if you want to see my full Lululemon collection or at least as much as I can show you in one video Drop a comment below and let me know if you want to see more of what I have. 
from the past because I have been collecting Lululemon for a long time. Here is the two that I really want to share with you and I really, really want to recommend before they all sell out. And I think they will. So I'll try to get this video out as soon as I can. This is the Ebb to Street bra. I'm actually wearing the Ebb to Street long sleeve. So I'll show you that too in a cutaway. But I'm wearing the Ebb to Street um, long sleeve. And what I love about these is that it has a built in area where it can have like the pads. Um, so you don't have to wear a bra with it, which is my favorite. So if I'm lounging at home, like I don't always want to be wearing a bra or even when I'm going out casually. The black one is so good. So the black one, you can tell it's like old. I've actually had this for a few years and I bought this one recently in white. And this one I just bought online and I didn't, I actually forgot about this, but you can actually wear it crisscross in the back like this or you can just unhook it and you can wear it uh, with no crisscross and I usually just wear it that way. I didn't even realize you could crisscross it. Um, but they're on sale right now, that's the thing. So I've been just looking at the sale rack for we made too much recently. What, or how much we made too much? No, I don't know what it's called. But I love this bra and it's on sale for the black color and the white color, but I just checked recently and the white color is already all sold out or at least they stopped stocking it, I don't know. But I'm like the fact that they're discounting the black one makes me feel like they're probably going to discontinue this style but I think that's such a shame because I actually love this one. I wear it a lot especially I think it gives really good coverage and it's also still like a very feminine um, sports bra but really good coverage and I've washed this loads like I've actually worn it a lot and the quality f still looks new like it looks amazing so I actually I just told you my wish list earlier, but I think I'm gonna buy another one of these black ones. After I try on this white one, I haven't tried it on yet. I mean, I'm gonna try it on for this cutaway for you, but um, I'm gonna buy another black one just so that I have it after they, they likely will discontinue the style. So I wanna just make sure I have them. I'm being really lazy right now. I'm so tired. It's Sunday morning. I just wanna relax. And I know you want to too. These pants are absolutely amazing and I got like the kind of the matching top for it. Um, I'm going to insert what this is called underneath, but I did see this one on sale as well on the We Made Too Much at Lululemon and look at that. It's so cool. If you look at it one way, it's a lenticular fabric. So one way you can see that like that cobalt blue and the other way you can see this beautiful rich purple. So I love this. I love like these eyeshadows like these chromatic eyeshadows and they're like this kind of vibe so i absolutely love it however i kind of regret the size i got i think this is a size two and the fabric is not that stretchy i'm usually a size two or a four like i'll buy a two for all like the nulu fabrics like the really buttery soft ones they kind of give more stretch to but the the tights that are like wonder train those type of those type of pants like the Everlux material, those ones I would size up to a four because they're just way too tight for me. And this one I bought a two, but I really, really wish I got a four. Um, at this point, it's just too late. But like, it still fits me and all, but it like, it's so compressive and I cannot wear this on a day that I'm bloated. You know what I mean? It's not the exact same fabric, clearly, but this is also on sale right now. So you can probably still get it. Um, this is called the Restless Cropped Half Zip. And I love how um, this color is very similar. So I might not necessarily wear it together because it's a lot of purple and blue, but I might, I might. I love matching. Um, so I just love that it's, this one doesn't have that lenticular feel, but it just has those beautiful colors. Like obviously look how good they look together. I just really love this. And this actually, by reading the tag, this actually has the no stink zinc treated as well. So that means your garments won't smell. If you've been like sweaty all day, you take it off, your sweater or your pullover won't smell bad. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that little logo here. So gorgeous. I actually have this in a couple of different colors. I think they're really easy to wear. 
and it's kind of nice like if I'm just wearing a sports bra I can just pull this over so it's like really easy to wear and the last piece I got I actually if you've seen my previous hauls you're gonna realize I already own this but I decided to grab another one it's the scuba oversized full zip I like transit between a couple of different places and so I like to have one in like <laughs> I'm a hoarder can you tell but anyways um this is another one so basically almost what I'm wearing but a full zip in all black I got the extra small slash small it's kind of like those one size absolutely love and I really really recommend if you are a first time Lululemon buyer I absolutely recommend right now I'm in the vibe for like dark color so get a black oversized full zip scuba hoodie you're not gonna regret this but I think if you're like really really tall maybe it's too cropped for you but I'm five foot one so this is like this is considered full zip like a full length for me because I'm just so small that crop stuff fits me perfectly and regular length stuff to me looks like I'm always swimming in it so actually over these years I'm actually really happy <laughs> that there's cropped versions of things because now I can finally wear them as full length same with pants I wear like the 25 inch which is like the ankle cropped length and that's my full length so I've never bought I don't think a 28 inch legging because those are considered too long for me even though for normal people or the average height of people it's a full length well these were all the pieces that i got for this particular time for lululemon just a small little haul for myself one piece i know i would definitely be buying more of is these asymmetrical yoga halter tops i love them and I love the little strappiness the asymmetrical look it looks very modern um I, I'm not a huge fan of the like in light bras I do have them too so if you want me to show you I can show you in a future haul or you know future what's in my closet for lemon pieces but I love these like feminine looks and I think I'm like really embodying that right now I think I'm trying to go for a little bit more feminine look and a little bit more classic. I've always collected really unique pieces and if you've seen like, I'm doing like a vintage coat haul video that might have came out before this one and I love them. But sometimes I just wanna be very modern. So I think I'm like stepping into that world. I have a lot of different looks, which is why if you're still here, you'll notice my channel for like, the things I unbox, I love my luxury items, so get me an Hermes, Chanel, YSL, all of that. I love that, but I also love vintage shopping. Like, I love the look sometimes. I love a hipster look, and I also love, like, that classic athleisure wear. So it's kind of all over the place, and it just really depends on my mood. So I love fashion so, so much, and right now I'm stepping into that era where I'm like, mm, give me that cropped bomber. I love that cropped wonder puff lululemon look a really easy pullover hoodie like i just i'm a little i can't lie like i'm a little stressed about my life right now so when i have some pieces that are really easy to wear like that scuba full zip and i've i've actually haven't worn it yet because i've been waiting to shoot this video for you even though i got this like a week or two ago so i can't wait to pull off the tag and wear this right away I just need some really, really easy pieces. Some things that are always make me feel good. I always look good in it. And like Lululemon is so good with like hiding things that I might not want to show, like my tummy maybe. So I just need some really easy pieces. Things that I don't need to like think too hard to style because I can just throw on the same leggings. So that is all we have for today. I know this was like a long chat, but all about Lululemon. So I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything Lululemon wise you want to talk about, let me know and we can chat because I love Lululemon. One more thing on my wish list is that, oh, I'm wearing actually stock Lululemon socks right now. <laughs> and they're pretty old now though, because like they're no longer super white. 
I think I'm gonna spoil myself some time and buy a bunch of Lululemon socks because Lululemon socks are so expensive. Like I know I'm just like, they're like $20 a pair for the ones I like from Lululemon. And sometimes I buy Nike ones and they're like a pack of six or eight for like $20 that I can get from like Home Goods or Home Sense winners or whatnot. So, but I, I really like the Lululemon ones. They make my feet feel really good because like the socks, they like are engineered to fit your foot in some way. So it gives like the top part of your foot like a little bit more cushion. It like holds yourself more in. Anyways, I think I'm just going to spoil myself this year with more Lululemon socks. So that's where my life is heading. Um, need some easy to wear pieces, lower my stress levels. Thank you for so much for watching again. And let me end off this video with saying that you guys are all amazing and I hope you have a really, really wonderful rest of your week. See you in my next video. Ciao soon.